Proverbs 29 and verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bears rule, the people mourn. Shalom Akim wa Akwa. Before I get started, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors unto the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, who taught me this truth. No respect and salutations to the fellow Akim, the house of David, the hopefully elect. This is your brother Yahweh Sab coming to you yet again with another lesson. And we know that the righteous are not in authority because the way and the state of the earth as a whole it's in disarray I got this article queued up common dreams alright how fitting June 17, 2022 the year of the turn up of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah it reads UN Food Chief says hell on earth looms for hunger crisis triggered by Ukraine war now you can take what you want, extrapolate whatever you want out of this headline, being the blame put on um, the war in Ukraine, you know, or you could take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> we know that the Lord is orchestrating these things. Now, and this is, you know, a, a man, you know, a, a world that is complaining of unfit rulers, as we just read. But on the spiritual sense of it, we know that the Lord is orchestrating this. Matter of fact, let's get this in Psalms, chapter 1, 0 and 5, verse 16. <clears throat> it reads, more, Psalms 105 and 16, Moreover, he called for a famine upon the land. He break the whole staff of bread. And the reason why, because we have unfit rulers. They are striving against their maker. The scripture tells you in Genesis chapter 4 that the earth would not yield forth her strength. So he's coming up with all types of ways to modify, all right, uh, uh, genetically modify things. And it's coming to an end. It's coming to a halt. And it's by design. That they're orchestrating this lack of bread, this lack of water that is soon to come. It says, with the world not soon to come, hey, it's here. The scarcity, all right, of items and food. With the world marching towards starvation, <laughs> this ain't just little Alabama, you know, California, Louisiana, somewhere. No, it says the world marching towards starvation said David Beasley. The best thing we can do right now is to end that damn war in Russia and Ukraine and get the port open in Odessa. And you know the, the mainstream media, these people would have you have you to believe, all right, that all <laughs> the world's food supply comes from this certain port or from this certain area. When under the guise of being locked down in America, you had this guy named Bill Gates buy up damn near 80 to 90 percent of the farmland. And just some mysteriously <laughs> fires just keep on happening in, in, in these food processing plants. All right. Cows dropping dead. Things of that nature. All right. We know that this is an unfit ruler because he's doing this. Uh, uh, under his greed, under his covetousness. All right? Let's go to this book of Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 39. Start at 25. It reads, All right? For the good are the good things created from the beginning, so evil things for sinners. Right? Verse 26, The principal things for the whole use of man's life are water, fire, iron, and salt, flour of wheat, honey, milk, and the blood of the grape, and oil and clothing. These essential items, man. Okay, and if you look at it as a spiritual aspect of it, this truth, all right, this word, Yahweh Shah, 
Okay. Let's continue. It says, all these things are good to the godly. So to the sinner, they are turned into evil. And, hey, you hear this phrase called um, using food as a weapon. All right. Well, yeah, once you're a uh, <laughs> subject, you know, accustomed to having a convenience of DoorDash, the convenience of a, a drive through the convenience of a delivery, all right, once that is taken away from you, okay, you, you feel hopeless and helpless. And this is where it's coming to, man, all right, with this uh, famine brewing, man, you know? And the Lord said this is going to take place, right? Let's read a little bit. As food prices and hunger source worldwide, hundreds of millions of people around the globe are marching towards starvation, increasing the likelihood of preventable deaths, civil unrest, and political violence in the months ahead, the United Nations food chief warned Thursday. Okay? So this, this is not even a week ago. All right? And, and when you have grids, power grids going out, power being shut down, it affects the water, all right? And, and, and when, when you have a, a station water, it breeds uh, insects, diseases, okay? These things are coming on this planet, man, and on this land. Babylon the Great, you know? And, and this is orchestrated by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Speaking from uh, Addis Ababa, Ababa <laughs> the capital of Ethiopia, World Food Program director David Beasley said the, uh, that <clears throat> so like you, that uh, uh, one more frightening shortages of key food staples put tens of millions of lives in jeopardy and risk uh, destabilizing countries. That are heavily reliant on imports. Okay. And uh, one of those countries. That is heavily reliant on imports. Is, is the US of A. Alright. The home of the brave. The land of the free as they say. But you can't collect rainwater. <laughs> How convenient. Even for even before the Ukraine. Let's check this out. Even before the Ukraine crisis. We were facing an unprecedented global food crisis. Because of COVID. And fuel prices increased, said Beasley. Then we thought it couldn't get any worse. But this war has been devastating. You see? And, and you see the quote right here, man. It's, been, it's devastating. And this is what the Lord does, man, when you strive against them. Okay? And when you have unfit rulers, you know? Not taking heed to the land Sabbath. All right? These things happen, man. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 5, verse 16. When I shall send upon them the evil for arrows of famine. And you break that word evil down. It goes into uh, um, Eve going into time and ill going into uh, being bad. So these are bad times coming. Right? <clears throat> it says, evil arrows of famine, which shall be for their destruction and which I will send to destroy you, and I will increase the famine upon you, and will break your staff of bread. Again, there go that word, breaking your staff of bread, that phrase. All right? You hearing things like increasing, all right, uh, the famine upon you, man. Because it was food shortages, but it's going to get worse. You hear me? It, 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 it's going to get very, very dire out here, man. People are going to be in straits. Isaiah 3 and 1. For behold, the Lord, the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah of hosts, doth take away from Jerusalem and from Judah the state of the staff, the whole state of bread, and the whole state of water. And again, it's a, it's a gradualism thing. It's a trickling process. It's a domino effect. All right? Power go out. Uh, water don't run. Hey, that water becomes stagnant. It breeds diseases, all right, which America is is is, is finna be thrust <laughs> into uh, uh, chaos, man. You understand? You you people are about to be thrown off your comfort seat. 
Ezekiel 4 and 16. Moreover, he said unto me, son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem and they shall eat bread by weight and with care. It's going to be rations. All right. You people are going to negotiate uh, one little caramel candy, man. One little square. Right. You people are going to uh, uh, be saving things. All right. That you once did away with in Babylon the Great. You know, you, you, you living deliciously, you know, you get to throw away your pizza crust. You don't uh, uh, eat a full meal. Restaurants, fast food restaurants, throw away all right, their food at the end of the night. That, there's nothing charitable about, about that, man. Hey, we the biggest waste of food in the world. So it's only right that the Lord is sending this famine. All right. It says, and with care. And they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment. Yeah, drip, drip, a cap. Each, each one of you get a cap full, okay? You can't just have a whole bottle of water to yourself. Have empty water bottles. Y'all take things lightly. Y'all take things for granted, okay? And the scripture tells you about uh, uh, it's, it's better to be slain by the sword. Let's get that than to, than to die by the famine, all right? Let's see. Lamentations chapter 4 and verse 9. And it reads, They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine away, stricken through for want of the fruits of the field. Yeah, you got your <laughs> a taste for a, a, a 10 piece wing dinner, you know? Three piece, four piece whole wing dinner. All right, uh, sneaky pee hot dogs. You know, you 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 people out there. Uh, you know you love your little baby back ribs. You know your shrimps. Okay, your lobsters, your steaks out there. All right, the scripture's telling you right here, man. It's better to be slain by the sword because you're gonna be thinking about those delicacies. All right, those victuals, those foods, those. Those milkshakes, those smoothies, your Starbucks, all right? And that's just going to make any, everything worse, man, all right? You, 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 you start to look at how your body, all right, when it, when it loses all that fat, it starts eating itself from the inside out, man. That's a terrible way to die. And to think about the, the, the wants, the needs that you think you should have, Hey, the, the Lord has a has a cold and, and cruel way of getting you people, man. Let's go back to this article, you know, and jump on down. We'll wrap it up after this. Okay, quote, it says, we are already seeing riots. <laughs> we are already seeing riots in Sri Lanka and protests in Tunisia, Pakistan, and Peru. This is not just a in one concentrated area, all right? Again, it's a domino effect. This is worldwide. This is globally, all right? So if these people, these so-called third world, second world countries are going through protests and riots, what makes you think it's not coming here, as the scripture say it? It says, and we have, uh, we ha we've had uh, uh, destabilization take place in places like uh, Burkina Faso, Mali, and, and God said Beasley, this is only a sign of things to come. All right. So we very well know, all right, that we are at the end. Okay. Because the Lord spoke of these things from the beginning, declaring the uh, end from the beginning. All right. It says it is very very frightening time. It is a very, very frightening time, Beasley continued. And again, these, these devils complaining, man. All right? They understand that that this is not looking too good for the world. All right? Mainly Babylon the Great, but for the world for that matter. It says we are facing hell on earth if we do not respond immediately. <laughs> the hell on. You, you know, you, you done fucked up everything. You've been a vagabond on earth, all right? You have not resisted blood, all right? You extracted 
uh, uh, resources after resources from the earth, and when it's time to to all right cough up that which you have destroyed, you want to blame it on everybody else. You want to bring everybody else, you know, for your for your shortcomings, your downfall. No man, all right. Esau Edom is the end. It says the best thing we can do right now is end that damn war in Russia and Ukraine and get the port open in Odessa. So, again, man, you know, the, the, the hypocrite speak. All right? Let's end this off in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 14. Let's start at 12. It says, The word of the Lord came again to me, saying, Son of man, when the land sinneth against me by trespassing grievously, uh, grievously, then will I stretch out mine hand upon it. I will break the staff of their bread thereof, and will send famine up on it. You see that? This is what the Lord is doing. He's giving you the reasons. It's, these are reasons given by Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. If anyone want to ask a question, why is this or thus or uh, if ands or buts? Well, here here it is. Ezekiel 14 and 13 again, son of man, when the land sinneth against me by trespassing grievously, all right, then will I stretch out my hand upon on it and will break the staff of bread thereof and will send famine upon it and will cut off man and beast from it. And it happened then and it's happening again, man. Okay. All right. And this is the last, all right, <laughs> place where well, this famine is going to take place here in America, man. It's all a build up to here. All right? So with that, Lord will, it was edifying and comforting. On to the next one. Shalom.